Today is the day. We are headed to our first campsite. It's about 20 miles to John's home. It is on a beautiful reservoir. It's called Lake Jordan Recreational Area. We have already made a reservation for five or six nights. We have everything loaded, put everything away. This is the setup. If God's willing, we'll be going around America the next four months. So wish us luck and come along for the journey. This is our first campsite parking. telephone the first time okay guys okay look good you got um, you have plenty of people coming well this was my very first time backing into a very tight RV site, but the location is just gorgeous. Look over there. Look. We are only feet away from the lake, and our site is just gorgeous. So the, the first thing we did is we put the blocks under the tire so that the tire and the rig won't move. Block with John and I have built yesterday and put it underneath the hitch and we turn it on and we extend it. Now you see we're loading the jack and it's lifting up the truck and the trailer. We need to do that in order to unhitch. It's called super, super grip chuck. This is what we're going to put in between the tires to make sure that the trailer doesn't rock back and forth. Uh, John. Now, what this does is stops the rig from going forward and backwards. You don't necessarily lift it up. All you have to do is, is just touch the ground so that it stabilizes the rig. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All four legs are done and uh, we don't have any movement side to side and we don't have any rocking movement forward or backwards. Well, let's just do a good clean up before we start. <laughs> combination and you do the unlocking and you put it someplace it's not gonna get lost we need to undo the chains undo the brake line the first step releasing the sway bar is get the tension off of the bars we did we do that by just raising the hitch arm and once it's raised we come in here and then we just drop it. release it and just drop it to release open that up once that release oops see the truck already fell and we'll do extension up a little bit more make sure that you see 
the ball is separated from the hitch and we're going to take off the sway bars this one and we just store them put everything back where you take it out from so this way you don't have to worry about looking for it. we're not we're not putting the carpet on as of yet because it's at night we're gonna be leaving and taking John and Berda out for dinner uh, but tomorrow we have to replace that and take the carpet out and lay it down it's clean. push it down a little bit pull it out put it back in here uh, right now there is nothing that keeps the truck attached to the trailer and you put it through somebody else doesn't come back up in here to put the trailer on the hitch and pull it out the hitch is removed the stabilizers are on the ground I had the chuck on the uh, between the tires so that the, the trailer isn't gonna move and I also have blocks underneath to make sure that that the car or the trailer does not roll so we have a little lap that John had just downloaded and this shows us that the trailer is level that's this is wonderful that's forward and backwards and this was side to side okay. this is another goodie it's called the surge protector uh, just like in the boats you know when you have a lightning or you have a, a spike or that the wiring of the campsite is not correct you may kiss goodbye to your appliances and your, your electronics so this is uh, highly recommended to use a surge protector 120 volts 30 amp right up here you place that And we have to, this is the 30 amp entrance, just like on the boats. We have to, you push it in, you turn it to clockwise, and you lock it. We have electricity. This is our campsite. It was a tough one. And now for, for a first timer, it's not easy to back in. I had to do a, almost a 90 degree back in, but I was able to do it. And we have a, a lovely recreation area. Uh, it is almost next to the lake. We're gonna enjoy. Now we're going to have a dinner with John and Verda. It's our thank you dinner for them to put up with us for 10 days. Okay, let's do Pominos. it. 